All right, so something else that we're going to do is just apply a little bit of uh, not manual resistance to the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a muscle. It is built just like any skeletal muscle pretty much. So essentially, if I don't work on my biceps, they're not going to grow, right? If you start doing a lot of bench presses, eventually chest, delts, and everything, everything that involves a bench press is going to grow via hypertrophy. So the same thing is gonna to happen to the, to the diaphragm if somebody does not use it properly or is barely using it, right? We talked about a lot of accessory muscle breathing, patients who have COPD, patients who have some restrictions may try to lift that first and second rib up in order to expand their chest up a little bit more. So if that becomes their priority, they're going to make sure, they, they're going to prioritize upper chest breathing as opposed to diaphragmatic breathing. So we have to do some retraining. So we can place a little bit of weight on the diaphragm and essentially literally just like doing your, your curls, we can count some reps as it relates to, to uh, patient breaths. So we're gonna start just like we always do. So I'm just gonna have you relax. If I didn't miss anything, let me know. And just breathe in and out. We're going to observe the breathing pattern, right? Now, of course, she's a healthy individual and she's breathing perfectly fine. But if she was not really, well, you're gonna try now, right? Um, breathing with the diaphragm, we see a lot of this upper chest movement. And as I mentioned in class, it's very hard to demonstrate, but when you see an abnormal, I promise you, you will, you will understand exactly what we're talking about. To restrengthen the diaphragm, we've already gone through a list, right? We talked about sniffing, so we'd already started that. Maybe we did a scoop technique, so a little bit of PNF. So let's just literally do some reps. So I have here a one pound weight. And essentially, we're gonna tell the patient where we're gonna place it, and we're gonna have them breathe against this resistance, 10 breaths, but we're not, we, don't, we, want them, we want them to do it at their pace. So this is not a hyperventilation or ventilatory exercise. All right, I'm gonna place a little weight here. If it's too much, you just let me know. It's gonna be just right below your rib cage. And now, exactly, I want, you, it, it's, I want you to kind of feel that weight there and just breathe normally, but I want you to breathe into that weight. Do 10 nice, easy breaths, your pace, don't rush it. And pretend like you're breathing into that weight. You really wanna get that weight up as high as you can. This is gonna work at strengthening that diaphragm so we can start retraining some belly breathing, which is hopefully gonna allow you to breathe a little bit better. And you can have the patient at home, if they don't have a one pound weight, use a, a bag of beans or a bag of rice. Sure. Um, you could also have them use a can. I'm just holding onto the weight so it doesn't roll around. And this is also important for, for our patients who are having um, postural issues because if we, if we think about the diaphragm as a postural muscle, so half the time it acts for breathing and the other half of the time it's acting for postural support. So strengthening the diaphragm can also help with, um, with um, trunk support in those people who may have an active diaphragm but may have inactive abdominals, which might be somebody who has a spinal cord injury. So the diaphragm can start to assist more as a postural muscle and help people maintain upright posture. All right. And this is also important to think about breathing um, when you have patients who have pelvic floor dysfunction um, because the diaphragm and the pelvic diaphragm act in synergy Absolutely. to help, um, help maintain the abdominal contents and help take pressure off the pelvic floor. Diaphragm is a, is a very, very, very important muscle. It might not be visual, right? We're not a glory muscle like our biceps, but it's a very significant muscle. Anything else with my muscles? 